Hey, boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about rates. All right, a rate is a special kind of ratio where the two terms have different units. Okay, and you may not be aware of it, but you pretty much use rates every day. All right, so we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you three examples and we're going to talk about each one, how to write it, what it means, and so forth. Okay, so our first example is 120 students for every three school buses. Okay, so there's three ways we can write this. First of all, let's talk about the units. All right, we have students. This is the preferred way to write this. I don't want to write it buses per students. I want to write it students per bus. All right, so we have 120 students for three school buses. We can write it as a fraction. We can write it using the colon, or we can write it just like we say it, 120 to 3. All right. Our next example is $5.50 for five pounds of potatoes. All right. When we're dealing with money, when there's money involved, and you're talking about one item is money and one item is not, you always want to put money on the top and the unit on the bottom. All right. So in this case, $5.50 for five pounds of potatoes, you're putting $5.50 on top and five pounds of potatoes on the bottom. Or you can write it the other two ways and say five fifty to five, or you can say just like you just like you say it, five fifty to five using the words. All right. Remember, when you have money involved, money always goes on top. The unit always goes on the bottom. All right. Our last example says Tanya works 60 hours every three weeks. All right. So once again, we have two different units. We got hours and we got weeks. So I uh, want, and usually, you know, if you're trying, if it's, if the question said, uh, Tanya works for every three weeks, she works 60 hours. You still, you don't want to say it in, you don't want to, you don't want to write it, um, three weeks for 60 hours. All right. It's not that I want the big number on top. It's just, you got to think about how you would, re how you would say it. Okay. Uh, we don't, we don't ever think, um, weeks to hours. We always think hours to weeks. Okay. So this would not be the way to do it. All right. So if I'm going to write Tanya works 60 hours for every three weeks, I'm going to say 60 hours for every three weeks, or I'll say 60 hours to every three weeks. Or I can say 60 hours to every three weeks. And that's really all there is to writing a rate and being able to identify it. You just have to understand that there's two different units, okay? Hours, weeks, okay? Earlier we had students to buses, and before that we had, uh, or, or in between there, we had pounds or dollars to pounds. So that's it.